The Battle for Mexico City refers to the series of engagements from September 8 to September 15, 1847, in the general vicinity of Mexico City during the Mexican-American War, included in major actions at the battles of Molino del Rey and Chapultepec, culminating with the fall of Mexico City. The U.S. Army under Winfield Scott scored a major success that ended the war. Background the major objective of American operations in central Mexico had been the capture of Mexico City. After capturing the port of Veracruz in March, General Winfield Scott was able to secure a base and move inland and defeat a large Mexican force at the Battle of Cerro Gordo. After routing the Mexicans at the Battle of Churubusco, Scott's army was only five miles away from its objective of Mexico City. Although defeated at Cerro Gordo and Churubusco, General Santa Ana's army remained intact and totally outnumbered Scott. Battles Molino del Rey On September 8, the fight for Mexico City began. Scott believed that a cannon foundry was located at the Molino del Rey, the King's Mill, located just over two miles outside the city. Scott sent the 1st Division under William J. Worth to seize and destroy the foundry. Worth wished to include Chapultepec Castle in his attack, and when Scott refused, a bitter rivalry began between Scott and Worth. In the ensuing battle, both sides suffered heavy casualties, and Worth drove the Mexicans from the mill, separating them from the forces at Chapultepec. The battle produced no significant military gains for the U.S. Chapultepec The main assault on the city came a few days later on September 12. Mexico City was guarded in part by Chapultepec Castle, which was being used as a military academy. Scott proceeded infantry assault with an all-day artillery barrage on September 12. The next day, September 13, the 4th Division, under John A. Quitman, spearheaded the attack against Chapultepec and carried the castle. Future Confederate generals George E. Pickett and James Longstreet participated in the attack. Serving in the Mexican defense were the cadets later immortalized as Los Ninos Eros. The Mexican forces fell back from Chapultepec and retreated within the city. Attacks on the Belen and San Cosme Gates Quitman's division made its way down the Belen Causeway towards the Belen Gate. Defended by General Tez and Colonel Garay with the 2D Mexico Activos and three guns, while Worth's division further to the north made its way up La Veronica Causeway towards the San Cosme Gate. Defended by General Rangel's Infantry Brigade, First Light, Part 3D Light and parts of Matamoros, Moralia and Santa Ana battalions with three guns before withdrawing, Nino Pedido by the National Guards and two guns, and San Lazaro, Guadalupe and Villajo, which were defended by small infantry detachments. Other forces were stationed at La Piedad, the insurgent bridge and in the rear of these before withdrawing to the citadel. Fall of Mexico City The junta had withdrawn their army. 14 guns, 4,000 cavalry, and 5,000 infantry gov. Olegabel, Toluca National Guards, minus 2, CMDTE, Arroyo, Lagos, Iturbide, and Tula Battalions, minus 3, Gen. Martinez, Various Pickets, and minus 4, Gen. Perez, 11th Infantry and remnants of Light Reg from the city during the night, and the U.S. forces, expecting another assault, found the city undefended. Worth and Quitman advanced cautiously. Quitman sent Lieutenant Pierre Beauregard to arrange the surrender of the Ciudad Ella. Beauregard and Mansfield level were met by a Mexican officer who asked for a receipt for the captured Ciudad Ella. Beauregard exclaimed that, we give receipts at the point of their swords. Scott gave the honor of formally entering the city to Quitman's division. The conquering army was less than impressing. The troops wore ragged and blood-stained uniforms and Quitman only had on one shoe when he marched into the city. Worth personally took down the flag flying over the National Palace, and a U.S. Marine hoisted the U.S. flag in its place. 
Quitman marched into the Zosolo Plaza in the center of the city in front of the National Palace where the formal surrender took place. As Worth's division entered the city the leading unit was John Garland's brigade. Stragglers from the Mexican army left in the city after Santa Ana's withdrawal climbed to the roofs of houses and began shooting at the American soldiers. General Garland was hit in the chest with the first shot and fell severely wounded. Before he evacuated, Santa Ana released 30,000 prisoners into the streets of the city and these rooftop shots provoked the prisoners into similar acts. Worth did manage to get the sniping under control. William S. Harney's dragoons escorted General Scott into the city wearing his immaculate dress uniform and was greeted by patriotic music. Scott appointed the politically savvy Quitman as military governor, becoming the only American to ever rule from the National Palace. Order of Battle United States U.S. Army Major General Winfield Scott Mexico 7 August 1847 to 20,210 men and 104 artillery pieces Axe Mexican Army General Antonio Lopez De Santa Ana Chief of Artillery General Martin Carrera Comandante General Colonel Jose Gil Parte Arroyo Foot Artillery Battalion Col. Aguador Cavalry Art. Battalion Iglesias. Chief of Engineers. General Ignacio Mora y Avilamil Gens. Casimiro Lishigar, Montador and Miguel Blanco. Army of the East. General Manuel Lombardini 1st Brigade General Andres Terres 2nd Brigade General Mariano Martinez 3rd Brigade General Joaquin Rangel 4th Brigade General Francisco Perez 5th Brigade General Antonio Leon 6th Brigade General Pedro Maria de Anaya 7th Brigade Col. Anastasio Ziracero Army of the North General Gabriel Valencia Deputy Gen. Mariano Salas 3,000 Infantry, 1,000 Cavalry and 500 Artillery Vanguard Brigade General Francisco Mejia and 3 to 12 pounds guns and 4 howitzers. Center Brigade General Anastasio Paroda and 6 to 8 pounds guns and 2 howitzers. Reserve Brigade General Mariano Salas and 7 light guns. Army of the South General Juan Alvarez 2762 Cavalry Cavalry Division GMT Games Lists Alvarez Brigade 2D, 3D, 5th and 9th Line Cavalry, Tulan Singo Caracias Andrade Brigade Oaxaca and Michoacan Cavalry Battalions Olqueras, Ramon, Apuntas para la Historia de la Guerra entre Mexico Casualties September 8, U.S. 116 killed, 665 wounded, 18 missing, 789 total, Mexican 2,700 total. September 12 to 15, U.S. 130 killed, 703 wounded, 29 missing, 862 total. Mexican 1,800 killed and wounded, 823 captured, 2,623 total. Totals U.S. 1,651. Mexican 5,323.